This video is to present the operation of a new portable stamping die built by Grand Traverse Tool for the purpose of creating these electrical terminals that are approximately 800 thousandths in length. The material for the terminals starts out as a strip of brass and it is fed off of this non-powered custom-made stock reel. The material is fed through the stock feeder and as it advances through the progressive die it first gets crushed in this area to create the taper on the edge of the terminals. It then gets punched out by this blade and in the next step the scrap where the piece has been cut out of gets cut off here and it all drops down through the bottom where there's a diverter for the good parts and the scrap. The entire operation is controlled by the brain inside here. You can see all the wires that go to the proxy sensor switches and, and the uh, solenoids that activate it. It all runs pneumatically beyond this point. We hit the start button and it activates everything. The six inch cylinder is what drives the press down. You can see the air inlet here goes to the valve system up here. There's a safety system. It has a complete curtain of plexiglass around the outside and there's an air dump valve that is controlled by this switch right here. You'll hear it kick. That engages it and then when it's opened it disengages and dumps the air for safety so that fingers can't get caught in the unit. Okay, I'm just going to turn it on and show you a couple minutes of its operation. There's a little electronic counter here. You can see it has a reset button. I'll reset that. This churns out parts at a rate of 150 parts a minute. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Okay, that's about two minutes worth of parts. So you can see it works flawlessly at an operating pressure of around 65 to 70 pounds of air.